Back here in Washington tonight, the Justice Department and the FBI meet to take on the persistent and very threatening, very frightening threat of a biological terrorism attack. NBC Jim Mikloszewski tonight on the problem and the response. Miami, November 18th, Southern California, December 21st. And just last week in Atlanta, another anthrax scare in America, an average of one a day. Fortunately, they've all been hoaxes, but they're becoming so routine, the FBI is warning its agents to take each report seriously and not let down their guard. At a terrorism conference in Washington today, an FBI simulation lays out a chilling scenario. Device may contain chemical or biological weapons. A terrorist plants a small amount of anthrax in an office building lobby. Within days, more than 500 are dead and the public panics. Police add as an extra precaution that you wrap up your clothes in a plastic bag, take a shower, and remain calm. At the same conference, Attorney General Janet Reno told law enforcement officials from across America to prepare for the worst. The more lives we're going to save and the more heartbreak we're going to prevent. But the FBI says America is not fully prepared to counter bioterrorism. The federal government wants to train emergency workers in 120 U.S. cities, but has covered only 49 so far. That lack of training could prove deadly. In April 1997, a package labeled anthrax was delivered to B'nai B'rith headquarters in Washington. In a recent report by FEMA obtained by NBC News, the Federal Disaster Agency says local police who responded to the incident made a number of serious mistakes that could have, quote, led to unnecessary deaths had the threat been real. Sooner or later, one of them will be real. Thank God none of them have been to date. Even with training, federal officials say the potential threat is far too big for civilian law enforcement alone. And the U.S. military would be called in to help deal with the most deadly terrorist attacks. Jim Mikloszewski, NBC News, the Pentagon.